In this video, I'll show you how to invoice using Zero Practice Manager. Now, there are many, many ways to invoice in Zero Practice Manager, but I'm just going to focus on three ways that you can do that isn't going to cause issues with your data. So there's three ways are interim invoices, time and cost invoices, and finally, you can also raise invoices in Zero and have these sync up to the job in Zero Practice Manager. I'm not going to show you that third method in this video. We'll do that in the next video. Here, we're just going to focus on interim invoices and time and cost invoices. So if you stick to one of these three methods, you're going to have clean data. If you fall outside of this, you might find issues down the track. So let's jump in. We'll check it out together. So here we are in job 1389 for Action Enterprises Limited. Uh, the job has a budget of $6,000. And if I go to the financial tab, you can see this is all my time. So I've got $5,400 of work on the job. There's no disbursements. This is all time. We've raised no invoices so far. So in total, we need to invoice $6,000. The good news is we're gonna get a write-up of $600 on this job. So we've been more effective uh, than what we priced this job at. So to do our invoices, we can go new progress invoice. You always wanna use new progress invoice. New final invoices can create issues down the track because you end up writing off work that you didn't intend to. But if you stick to new progress invoice, you won't have any problems. Now, we're either gonna use this method here where we put $6,000 in. This will create an interim invoice for us. So I put 6,000 in there and I'm gonna call it uh, invoice for accounting services. And then we're gonna hit next. Cool, it just gives me a single line here under the cost. Now don't be fooled by it uh, putting it under the cost tab. This is not a cost, this is an interim invoice. It just puts it on this line here. Now what I've done is I've got a whip ledger all set up over here so we can see all of our time here. Now when I approve this invoice, we're gonna see a new entry here under interim. So then I hit uh, approve and print. So that brings me through to my invoice template. We actually don't send our invoice from Zero Practice Manager. That's what it looks like here. But what we wanna do is jump into our Zero Blue, jump into our invoices, and we'll see a draft in here. Go to our drafts, action enterprises. Here it is for $6,000. And as you can see, it looks quite tidy. We've got our annual accounts. It's got all the information there and we can approve this and send this off to our client. Now, if I jump back into Zero Practice Manager, I want to just jump back into my whip ledger now and hit refresh. And you'll see now we've, now we've got this interim invoice here. So we've got negative $600 of work in progress. So when we wash this up, that $600 will be a write-up and that write-up is gonna be apportioned across all of our time entries there. So let's do this now. So we'll jump back into the job. Back to financial and we're gonna hit remove from invoice list. That's gonna do our wash up for us. And then we hit refresh, just like that. And you can see all of my write-ups that are apportioned across there. So a total of $600 write-up. So that's one method of invoicing, that's interim invoices. That is my preferred method. Just put in a description and send the invoice and then do your whip wash up. Now let's look at the next method here, time and cost. So if we jump back in, I'm just going to undo the whip write-off. This is gonna reverse my whip wash-up, so you can always reverse them if you're not happy with it. And you'll see if I hit refresh now, it's gonna reverse all of this out. There we go, so it's gotten rid of my whip wash-up, so now I've got my negative $600 of whip. And I'm gonna delete this invoice because I'm gonna re-raise one, but I'm gonna do it as a different method. Options, and then delete invoice. So if I cancel invoice, it's going to also remove it out of zero for me. So we'll do that actually, we'll go cancel, and then delete. So cancel takes it out of zero blue for me, and then I can delete it just like that. Fantastic, okay, so let's go back into the job and then hit refresh. Right, so we're back to where we were. We have $5,400 and we're gonna do a new progress invoice. So last time we chose this method here, we select this box, we put 6,000 in, we put a description in. This time we're gonna choose actual time and cost. So you can see here, we've got three lines here. So we wanna build $6,000, remember, so what we're going to do is we're going to override this to be fixed price. We need to change some of these values here to make it equal uh, 6,000. So I might want to put this one up to uh, 4,800. So we hit approve. That's gonna send our invoice to zero. So if we just go back to the dashboard, 
back to invoices. This has come through again. Invoice 59, let's just double check we've got the same invoice here. Invoice 59, so that is the updated one. Great, so we click into it. Now we can approve this and send it off to our customer. Now what's really important to note here is the difference in the WIP ledger. When we sent this invoice, if we click back into it, you'll remember that we put the extra $600 written up on this task here and none on these two tasks. So if we click into here and hit refresh, and what you'll see here is the write-up was only a portion to the tasks annual accounts preparation. So the full 600 was written up there. You'll notice that Ruben Sweeney did work on annual accounts review. He didn't get recognized for any of that write-up. So it's really important to be aware of when you're invoicing, that is also how we're recognizing that revenue against our team members. So if we were to run a report on what was Ruben's write-ups for the month, he's going to get recognized with none. But Will McTavish, myself, we, I'm going to get all $600 of the write-up. Where under the previous method, it was a portion across everyone who worked on the job. So this is really important to consider when we're doing our invoicing, whether we're doing our time and cost invoices or whether we're doing it as interims. My preference is interims because it gives us a nicer wash up and it's really clean when we do our invoicing. So that's how you invoice in Zero Practice Manager. So we covered interim invoices and also time and cost invoicing. It's really important when you're invoicing, however, is to consider how you're recognizing that revenue against those tasks. As we saw, Ruben got recognized with none of the write-up when we choose our time and cost method. A big mistake people make is they may go and zero out all of the tasks and put all of the revenue into one of the tasks. That's gonna write off all the time for the people who worked on the tasks you've zeroed out and put all of the revenue and all of the write-up will go to that single task. So it's really important to be aware of that. To play it safe, use the interim method. Now what we haven't covered here is how we invoice from zero and send these invoices back up into Zero Practice Manager. We're gonna cover that in the next video. So I'll see you then.